this is van life. You were talking to me the other day about your life. How long have you been living in, in vans? I've been on the road like 30 years. And, and what's, what started you? What, what? Well, I suppose in the early days I was out of parent to control when I was about 14. So uh, they put me in this like bit of an approved school thing, like, you know. And then I ended up coming out of there and like a lot different. And uh, I was drawn to London then, like, you know, on the streets of London. And then from there, I crossed over into Holland, and then I went back into London, and then I carried on uh, back over. I went around Belgium and ended up in Austria, of all places, and come back, and then uh, went back up north to get back in a nice warm house at my mum's, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Settled down for a bit, but I still had that, like, you know, way of life with me, like, you know. And then, yeah, I... Uh, Started doing the old uh, festivals. I think Bickershaw, one of the early ones I did. And then I went to Deep La Vale, like, you know, involved in Deep La Vale for a bit, like, you know, and then uh, Glastonbury, like, you know. Yeah, the early days at Glastonbury and fruit picking, Appleby Horse Fair. I were up round Appleby Horse Fair for years when I were horse drawn, like. Yeah. So you used to be horse drawn? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, me dad had uh, rag and bone carts around uh, North Manchester, like, you know. Right. So we were like general dealers, like part of the family, and tinkers from my mother's side in Ireland. Like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So what, what was Glastonbury like at the beginning? Well, I had a wife then and three young children, so I kept, I didn't party as much, like, you know. <laughs> but there were a lot of people did party, and it was good fun, like, you know. But I went there really to clean it up after make some wages, because we make wages to try and keep us through winter, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. If we couldn't get any work, but we usually did, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how long, how long have you been on the road? It'd be like 30 years, but I used to take the kids back to Manchester to put them in school, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, like, living by myself, like, you know, without a wife and everything, I've been, like, like seven years, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I've always been, like, semi-nomadic, I should say, like, yeah. 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 So what do you do here at Stonehenge? At Stonehenge, well, I go to the ceremonies, like, you know, on the equinox and salsas and that, like, you know, but, uh, yeah, I just do a few sticks, like, you know, and people just do a donation, like, you know, whatever they do, just... Try and put me a bit of fuel in this, is Yeah. And do you stay here or do you move to other places? Oh, yeah, I move to other places, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And are you still doing the festivals or...? Yeah, yeah, I do the two horse drones. I just finished Glastonbury this last year. I won't do it, it's too big, like, you know, I'm too busy, like. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I do the green gathering. And, yeah. and I'd like to do a new one as well, you know, what I haven't done. If there's anything I haven't done, I'll try and do yeah, that as well, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You were telling me about your life uh, up in Manchester when you used to work in demolition. And, yeah, yeah, and well, yeah. Well, like, I was uh, plastering at one stage. We had, a, like, a, a gang of plasters all around Manchester. That were great, but we used to make too much money and all drink and everything, like madmen, like, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> the gang split up. So I was working on my own, like, and... I used to go in a reclamation yard and he said, listen, if you're not busy every day, you can uh, come and work with my brothers pulling a job down, like, you know, and I did, and I took to it like a duck to water, really, like, and uh, it worked for me because I could go away, do all my festivals, and then when I got back, I'd just ring them up and they'd say, yeah, we need somebody on a job, like, something to do, I needed like a foreman, like, and then I was like a, a, a driver labourer with my own vehicle, like, you know, I did all sorts, really, and then I had a bit of a scrap round, and then from there you had, like, old furniture, so you are a bit of a second-hand dealer, like, as well, like, you know, yeah. And you and your wife used to foster children? Oh, yeah, 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 we lived on some land, and then we took over a farmhouse, and from there we wanted to give something back to the society, like, so, yeah, we went into fostering, and, uh, yeah, I got a degree in childcare, like, right. you know. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we ended up fostering about, I think, 49 children, like. But because of our different background, we were sort of, like, given children from that type of background, like. So a lot of children had been uh, expelled from a few places as well, like. And, and I knew some of the parents, like, you know. Like, <laughs> we, we carry on, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So today you're here, you're living in your wagon. Uh, you're right on the edge of Stonehenge, where... where people come and see the stones and you have a little stall here tell us about your stall and what you do with, with your woodwork yeah well I go into the woods and I'd take any 
tree what mother nature's brought down like you know i'll go what has been offered to me i don't like touching a live tree if you will like and uh, yeah i always find sticks what i think's got some interest in them like you know and i start them off and i like people to take them and finish them off like you know but I also have sticks for everybody, like, you know, because some areas I go to and there might be older people who's come on a coach and forgot their stick and then they're struggling, so I have these traditional sticks as well, like, you know. So, yeah, we're trying to have a stick for everybody and a staff for wizards and what have you, like, you know, yeah. So I guess you meet some interesting people and people find you interesting. It, it's quite a social sort of Yeah, yeah, life. I've met people from every every background, like, you know. And I've, uh, you know, had people with lots of different problems, like, you know, and tell me the problems. <laughs> like, well, it, you know, it, it is what it is, like, you know, you just try and make people happy and, you know, uh, try and talk about if anything wants to, uh, they might be thinking if he's bad for them, like, you know, if you can, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to come to our festival? You're going to come to Van Life Celebration? At, God willing, yeah. At, at God, Newbury. Yeah, God willing. At, at Newbury yeah, Showground. Yeah, we'll God keep willing, in touch yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. It'd be great to have you there. It'd be great to have you there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll, I'll keep in touch with you. And yeah. That's brilliant. Thanks yeah, very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All the best. You had much hassle, Chris. Oh, Thirty oh, years. Is. You've seen a lot. Yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I've been mugged and everything, like, you know, and, that, uh, and uh, yeah, I've had people sleeping on my bed, like, mm. <laughs> one block went out partying, and with some hard cases, like, you know, what I mean? and uh, he tried to keep up with them, like, but he weren't from that background, you know, right. and when it, they all went and had a siesta then, getting ready for the night time, and he couldn't find any, he must have thought, oh, this lad will be all right, he'll sleep on me bed. <laughs> In fact, his parents had to come for him at finish, like, you know. Right. Uh, it was funny. And then I had a girl thinking it was belonging to somebody she'd met on Facebook and uh, swore blind that it was his van, and I'm trying to explain to her it's my it van. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people, they come out and they've got problems, like, you know. Oh, it's really funny, like. I know there's a, another side to being on the road because behind me there's a... A man called Jay in a black van down there. You probably know him by sight. I'll know him by sight. And he was travelling in Europe and he got gassed. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. They took his his money. Yeah. Luckily, he had his bank card in yeah, his pocket. Yeah, and yeah. He paying the tolls with it. Yeah, yeah. And it, it seemed unbelievable to me that you can get gassed in your van. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was an incident <coughs> with a with a full Cornwall. Myself and Liz, yeah, we met yeah. him yesterday, he yeah, yeah, his dick. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there was a homeless man in the in the car park, and some youth decided to pick on him, and it all went to court, etc. They all walked away. They oh yeah, away yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like, what is the world coming yeah, to? Yeah, you can never tell. I mean, you know, yeah, you're not you're not in society, like you know, you're living without law, and that's how you're treated, like. Yeah. I've seen all different angles of it, like you know, I've met girls, and you know. A dad were a lecturer at university and she were on the road with a dog and the dog got in with some sheep but this farmer were mining the sheep for another farmer yeah and uh, he came over and said your dogs yeah yeah we're sorry we'll pay for the sheep and she would have done you know i know something about it so i think she'd give a down payment like and gyre up in but the farmer who owned the sheep he come over with a shotgun you know a week later to shoot her dog well, oh, three women shot out with frying pans and that, and he really got knocked on the floor and they took his gun off him, <laughs> and that all went to court. Yeah, but yeah. With her dad being like a lecturer at university, uh, he would be able to speak the part, and I think the fella got his gun took off him, like, you know. Like, uh, yeah. You can never tell. I mean, when I were in London on Gateway Service Station, I didn't lock my doors properly, like, you know, and uh, I woke up in the morning and somebody had been in my van while I was asleep and took my money, like, you know. But, it was just God, they didn't take me bloody keys, like, you know, not yeah. with the main thing. Like, money comes and goes, and they said, if you'd have woke up, they might have stabbed you with something. Even if you'd have been strong enough to throw them out of the van, they might have put your windscreen through, like, you know. So, yeah. it is what it is, money comes and goes, man. Right? Society has a lot of thoughts. It is what it is, like, you know, I mean, we're living out, like, you know, on the fringe of it, like, and some people spoil it for other people, you don't, you know, it, 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 you just got to like think, well, you know, 
But the way things have gone now, the rich are just getting richer. Yes. And why are they getting richer? Like you don't know. And they keep priming us about bloody Russia and China. And you think, how are all the rich going to bugger off somewhere else when we start throwing these nuclear bombs about? Like you yeah. know, it, you know, it just I don't know. There's something in the air. Hidden agendas everywhere, aren't there? Like, you know. Well, uh, we at the moment, we we've got our van here, but we're only visiting, and we've got our house. Whether we're lucky, whether we're not, is your uh, opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we can't afford to live there. No, 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 no. There's so many cars. The car, <laughs> you know, no, no, my, my Me and my wife um, and our daughter, we're living like we're squatting. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. our house. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, we're okay. Yeah. But this is the way it is. Yeah. We're lucky enough, unlucky enough. I don't know which way you choose. Yeah. To have a house, yeah, yeah, but we can't afford no. the upkeep of it. No, well, that's what's going on. The, the rich are going to end up with all the houses, and then it's going to be like another bloody thing. It's as though it's all planned. Yeah, get people in debt, and then they lose their houses, and that's they want what they want. You land in your houses, like you know. Well, we, if you was to come and visit us, you wouldn't take your coat off. No, Simply no, because yeah, yeah. we can't afford yeah. to run the heat yeah, to keep yeah, you warm. Yeah, yeah, I went to see a girl in Bristol, like I said, we have a warmer in my van. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to explain to her. I said, yeah. Yeah. Well, we've had three days away. I went down yeah. to see my mum, which is in East Sussex, Liz's mum, and then come back up to see Nigel here before we go home this afternoon. And we've been warmer in the three days we've yeah. been away in our old crotchety van yeah. than you didn't come home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I will... There's something wrong there. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like you to should be able to come to my house yeah. and sit down and have a cup of tea and be comfortable. Yeah, God, you no, keep your coat no, on. no, 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 uh, Yeah, and if you build a chalet or something like that, they tell you to make it down, like you know what I mean. You yeah. know, just, you do, they won't want you to help yourself, you know, in case you're going to bloody uh, lower the price of the area, like you know. What festival was this, Chris? Do you know? I don't really know. Some say it were all early Stonehenge. Some say really Glastonbury. I don't know. This green bus reminds me of, um, I think it was late 70s, early 80s um, video that I've seen on YouTube where a middle-aged gentleman was living in his van and he made such a point that Jesus was a traveller and he walked around. Yeah, yeah, if you... Yeah, it, you should, I, mean, I can't yeah. remember the whole poem, but it's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it... It's such a true thing. Yeah, yeah. One of the first New Age travellers. <laughs> a posse with him and away he yeah. went. People used to feed him. Didn't they? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's uh... a lot of years of experience there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You Thank might you. get people saying all sorts of the right fuck when we're up Thanks for that. You can make someone yeah. happy, that's all it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. And where will that be like? Will my lad be able to look at that? Yeah, what I'll do, I'll, I'll I'll text it when and I'll put a little video out over on Facebook and on YouTube. Saying I'm looking for a wife as well. Yeah, we, 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 we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> Especially one wing one. <laughs>